Hi friends, welcome back. Today I want to uh, demonstrate how Super 5 classification work in World of Engine. And by the way, I, I already created video with this topic, but I removed it because I use uncommon methodology and perhaps that's a difficult to explain. That's why I create a new video. And I just follow uh, Google materials for uh, do Super 5 classification in Google Earth Engine. By the way, in this code, I already prepared some script here. This for a Sentinel to plot masking. This for filtering image collection. This for uh, image style. And for uh, Classification, I add additional band which is NDVI, NDWI, and SAV, and I add to my final image. And let's see, run now in my image. I have 19 band include uh, NDVI, NDWI, and sub See, and I will use this image for classification. After that, I want to show you this my image, and I already create my sample data set. I divided it into four classes which is forest, vegetation and forest, non-vegetated area, and water. And for each sample, I add a properties. There is, first is name, and the second is ID. This sample for forest, name forest and ID one. And for vegetation and forest, ID two. Before we do a uh, super 5 classification, you have to collect your sample before. And I already collected it. This, my samples. See? If you want to uh, create sample, it's, it's a sim simple. Just create a new layer. And name it, for example pump and feature collection and add the sample properties oops sorry name pump and id for example 5 just ok after that click your pump sample select polygon and just draw it like so see and just do the same uh, procedure for another sample but you need to ensure this ID is a uh, difference uh, between another sample and I don't need that I will remove it And then after we finish collect our sample, then we need to merge the sample, call it as a far. I call it as a samples. Call your samples variable. First is forest dot merge boom bracket and vegetation non forest and then much again but non vegetated and the last one is water like so let's try to check our sample size run Oh, 
oops sorry i mean uh how many polygon that i i have for uh my sample and after this just do this far total i mean a sample first is call your image dot select your bin for uh, prediction this dot sample region open bracket open curly bracket and enter it first property is collection which is your samples and second one class property oops sorry i mean properties call your sample properties and i use name and id name second one is id the last one is scale like so and 20 if you use a uh, lens set 30 like so let's see how many samples that we have now that size run now I have more or less 2000 sample and then let's create our classifier and I want to use random forest classifier e dot classifier smile random forest just copy this place it here open bracket and fill this with value this value is a uh, number of uh, decision trees and then dot train and train open bracket and curly bracket enter it first is features color sample like so then class property I use ID from my sample last one is input properties this uh, bands for prediction like so after this for classification call your image dot select your prediction bands and the last one classify your classifier here like so and then let's see add to the layer your classification map and I already prepare and cover style here let's see how about the result run it Now this is my classification result. Not bad. The dark green is for forest, the orange for vegetation non forest, yellow for uh, non vegetated, and the blue for water. See? Not really bad. 